guys welcome back to my channel so today i have this makeup look for you i decided to film this video as a voiceover as i didn't really feel like having a big old chat and like people coming in and out of my house so i didn't really want to be like chatting to the camera so yeah and also it was raining outside and it was making a horrible noise in the window and yeah so this is a voiceover and i haven't done one of these in such a long time but i really hope that you enjoyed this video it's using quite a few of my favorite products recently and i didn't show you like what i contoured with in that like cream contoured because i just use the la girl pro conceal in toast like all the time so yeah and i have on my new favorite lip color which you will find out in the video. So I really hope that you enjoyed this makeup look. If you'd like to see how I got this look, then please carry on watching. I've already filled in my brows with the Benefit Browsings in number five and the ABH Dip Brow Pomade in Granite. I'm now just taking my Morphe Jaclyn Hill Favourites palette and taking the bright peachy shade in the palette and applying this into my crease and slightly blending it up towards the brow to help blend the shadow out. This will be our transition shade. Here I'm just applying my lip plumper by the brand Instant Effects. I have a discount code for you in which I will leave on the screen now and in the comments down below if you're interested in purchasing any of their products. Back to the eyeshadow, I'm just applying the deeper orange in the palette directly onto my outer corner and just blending any excess into the crease. I'm just blending everything until it looks seamless. Here I'm just cleaning up any excess product with a face wipe just so that eyeshadow is nice and crisp and it's not all over my face. To give the eye a bit more depth I'm applying Sienna by ABH directly onto my outer V and just applying this in a V shaped motion with a Morph Brushes pencil brush. I'm just taking a bigger fluffier brush just to make sure everything's nicely blended together. To make the eyes appear a lot more smoky and blown out I'm applying Hot Chocolate by ABH with a more precise pencil brush by Morphe. This really helps to pack down the pigment more precisely and get the shade right where I want it and again I'm just going back with a big fluffy brush just to make sure everything's nicely blended and I just keep going back and forth with that dark hot chocolate shade by ABH just to reapply the color just to make sure everything's as pigmented as it can be and just so it stands out quite a lot as I wanted this to be very dramatic and smoky so applying the color packing the colour on, blending it out and then just reapplying more colour just to make it stand out and be as pigmented as possible. Because when you're blending you're taking away product so you just want to keep adding more and more product until it's the intensity that you want it to be. I'm not sure why I look so confused in this clip but I'm just taking my favourite palette of the moment which is the ABH Modern Renaissance palette and just taking the shade Cypress Umber and I'm just applying this where we applied the hot chocolate shade also by ABH and I'm saying ABH because saying Anastasia Beverly Hills at every single point that I mentioned the brand is very long-winded so yeah that's why I just keep saying ABH just to shorten it down a bit and make it a bit more easier for myself so yeah I'm just taking the shade burn orange from the palette and I'm just applying this slightly above where we applied the deep browns into the crease just to make sure that everything transitions into one another nicely and there's no harsh lines and then just taking the shade tempera or tempera and i'm just highlighting my brow bone with this with a zoeva 230 luxe pencil brush and again i'm just taking a big fluffy brush just to make sure there's no harsh lines and to sort of help blend the brow bone highlight and the transition shades into one another just so there's not like a big permanent harsh line and now for my favorite part i'm just taking my face wipe once again and just cleaning up the eyeshadow as it's finally finished. Okay, maybe I lied. I'm just taking the shades Vermeera and Primavera. I really don't know how to pronounce the names in this palette. They're so hard, so I'm just butchering them, so I'm so sorry. But um, I'm just taking both of those shades, mixing them together or sort of layering them on top of each other and highlighting my brow bone with this. I'm really sorry if you can hear the ice cream van going past my house, but um, I can't really help that. I'm now just taking the shade Tempera or Tempera, I don't know how to say it. Once again, I'm just highlighting my inner corner with this shade and yeah, I'm just highlighting my inner corner and I'm just also helping sort of get rid of any harsh sort of darkness that might have sort of fallen into the inner corner as I really don't like my inner corner to be too sort of dark. So yeah, I'm just tidying that eyeshadow up. I'm now just applying my favourite gel liner at the moment which is the Maybelline 24 hour gel liner in black 
and I'm just using my Sigma E10 small liner brush to create a very thick wing as I love my wings to be very thick and very sharp so I find this the best eyeliner brush to use for when you really want a thick wing or just sort of creating a wing in general I absolutely love this brush and I think the eyeliner and the brush work perfectly together so yeah I'm just creating a very thick wing with these products well with these items. As you can see I've already applied my lashes and my foundation and everything off of camera. I'm just applying the eyeshadow to my lower lash line and I'm just applying that very vibrant sort of peachy orangey shade to my lower lash line. I've also lined my waterline with the same gel liner and yeah as I said I wanted this to be very dramatic. Now I'm just taking that deeper orangey tone which is quite a sort of burn orange and I'm just going underneath my eye with that. I think that this eye look is absolutely amazing for helping green and blue eyes pop so yeah I really love this eye look. I'm now just taking this very deep purple and this very sort of deep sort of magenta pinky dark pinky shade underneath my eyes and I'm just sort of blending this into those orangey brownie shades just to really help make my eyes stand out and make them pop as I really think that purples and pinks really complement my eye colour. I'm just applying those and then applying my inner corner highlight once again as it sort of disappeared a little bit due to blending. And then I'm just taking the shade Love Letter from the ABH Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just taking that on my MAC 266 angled brush and I'm just applying this right into my sort of lower lash line as it were. So I'm just applying that right into that lower lash line just to really help deepen up the eyes and give them that sort of pinky purpley effect as I really wanted to apply this to the lower part of my eye just to sort of make the eyes stand out that little bit more instead of applying this into sort of into my crease or anything but uh yeah and I also mixed a little bit of the shade real go with that as well sorry I forgot to mention that but yeah I mixed the orangey and the pinky shade together just to help sort of transition it in a little bit now I'm just bronzing my face with my NYC smooth sunny bronzer I think it's called something like that and I'm just taking a little bit of that bronzer on my nose as well just to contour it slightly as this is such a nice bronzer and it's not too sort of orange and warm then I'm just taking my favorite blusher ever which is Milani's Luminoso it gives such a nice peachy sort of luminosity to your cheeks and it's just such a beautiful blusher almost said bronzer then but no it's a blusher and I'm just applying that to my cheeks as I just absolutely love this blusher and I just find it goes with every single makeup look Ever. And now it's time to add my favourite part, well, my favourite part of the face, which is highlighter. So I'm just taking my ABH Glow Kit in that glow, and I'm just taking the shades Dripping in Gold and Bubbly, and I'm just mixing them both together, applying them to my cheekbones, and then I like to go in with the shade Sunburst, I think it is, the more sort of yellow tone in the palette, and I just like to apply that on top. But um, as you can see, I'm still sort of whacking this all over my face. Oh, here I go. I'm, I'm actually applying it onto my cheeks now. But yeah, this is like my favourite highlighter in the palette, the Sunburst one, because it's just such a nice golden undertone. And yeah, I just absolutely love this. I'm now just taking my second favourite highlighter, which is Urban Decay's Afterglow, 8 Hour Afterglow, I think it's called, in Sin. And this is absolutely perfect. It just gives a more sort of luminosity sort of vibe to your cheekbones and just makes them stand out a little bit more. And yeah, I love applying highlighter on top of highlighter. I just love layering products, basically. And as you can see, I just was absolutely obsessed with applying loads of different highlighters on top of each other today. So here I'm just applying the Laura Geller Gilded Honey and I'm just applying that on top of the other highlighters. Now I'm just further bronzing my skin with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Give Me Some, which is my all-time favorite bronzer. It just has a more sort of warmer undertone to it so it's just really nice in the summer to give you that perfect bronzed look and then I'm just wiping off the excess sort of product on my lips from the lip plumper and I'm just going to be lining my lips with the NYX mechanical lip pencil in natural and this is my favorite lip pencil of all time I just absolutely love it it goes with every single nude lipstick ever and it's just sort of your lips but better that sort of tone so I absolutely love this and I'm just slightly sort of overdrawing my lips with this as well just to make them look a bit more plump. 
I'm now just going in with the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Corset, which is the most perfect sort of cool tone nude. I absolutely love this and it makes my lips look so sort of plump and full. And yeah, I love it with this lip pencil. I'm now just setting my brows in place with the Ready Set Brow, I think this is called, by Benefit. And this is just a clear brow gel. I actually picked up this little travel size one in the Marie Curie magazine in Tesco. And I believe it cost me about three or four pounds, but it was very cheap. Especially the fact you're getting like a little mini benefit product in it so I'd highly recommend going into Tesco or your local local supermarket to check out any sort of magazines that have any of the new benefit brow products in them as there's loads with all the new products in at the moment so yeah go check them out but I absolutely love this brow gel it's amazing and I've been using this so much more than I have been my ABH clear brow gel which you know is a big deal for me so that's the end of this makeup tutorial guys i really hope that you enjoyed this makeup look and i really hope that you enjoyed this video sorry i've been a bit absent on my youtube channel but obviously i have been moving and it's been very stressful and the internet hasn't been working for about a week so yeah please excuse me on that but i'm back to making videos for you all now and yeah so thank you so much for watching take care bye